welcome to the voice of the Lord. Our verse for today is Psalms 41, verse 4. I said, O Lord, have mercy on me. Heal me, for I have sinned against you. Are you sick or are you burdened? Have you ever asked for God's mercy? Have you ever prayed this kind of a prayer? This was David, friends. He said, O Lord, have mercy on me, for I have sinned against you. Heal me, Lord. Praise the Lord. He acknowledged, friends, that he had done something. That's why he was where he was at the time. He was sick. And so he said, that I have sinned against you, but Lord, have mercy on me. Forgive me my sins. Or whatever burdens you have, it could be something else other than physical sickness, friends. But it's still the same thing. It's a burden that you need to be relieved of. And therefore, pray this prayer, just like David, and he was healed. Say that, O oh Lord, have mercy on me. I have sinned against you. Heal me of my sickness. Well, why don't you pray that prayer? And indeed repent of your sin. Ask the Lord, Lord, I, uh, I have abused my body. I have neglected my body. Father, forgive. Forgive me, Lord. Amen. So, and as you do, accept, friends, the fact that healing comes from Him. Amen. Don't depend on anything else. Some depend on horses. Some depend on chariots. We are told, friends, David himself was saying that. Some depend on people. But my help is from the Lord. And therefore, my, my prayer for you today is that may the Lord just restore you fully and heal you of your sickness, even as He shows His mercy on you. Remember that God is a, a merciful God. He is loving God. He is a compassionate God, friends. He knows your weaknesses. He knows us inside out. We cannot pretend. We cannot pretend, friends, that we have not sinned against God. No, we cannot. And we know why we are in our situation today. Yes, we know. Sometimes we are in denial. But we know, more or less, we know why things happen the way that things had happened. So why don't we just accept it and say, God, have mercy on me. Forgive me of my sins. I have sinned against you. Against you alone have I sinned. Don't blame people. Amen. Don't blame people. Well, just admit that you have fallen short of the glory of God. And as you do, friends, God will show us His mercy. He will surely heal you and He will surely heal me. Hallelujah. Let us just wait on His timing. But God is gracious. No. We, we can read through his scripture that God heals and God hears prayers. He hears us. And so if you pray the way that David had prayed, well, he would hear us and he will restore us. And he will cause us, friends, to rejoice and glorify his name. Every healing, every uh, burden that is uh, lifted from us, friends, when you receive it, glorify God. Amen. This is for His glory. So thank God and glorify Him. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May His face shine upon you and be gracious to you and lift up His countenance on you and give you His peace as you receive your healing and deliverance today. God bless. See you again next time. Bye.